This is Mark Scheller, top 1% St. Louis realtor and advocate of consumers everywhere. Everywhere. I am a person who is deeply concerned about the various forms of radiation and their effects on our physiology. So I have measured the top 10 worst radiation sources for humans. I have ranked them and I will publish those EMI and EMF results next. So during our evolution over thousands of years here, we humans did not encounter much radiation, maybe some solar radiation. Until now, where various forms of radiation are all around us, and it's penetrating right through our bodies every day. That is so sad. In hopes that this excessive amount of radiation is not causing damage to us at a cellular level. So today I want to share with you the detail of my field study. I have documented and measured the top 10 sources of radiation for humans. For each location, I took 10 to 20 measurements and I logged in those averages. So I do not have a laboratory. This is not exact science. This is real life. I was in the field to measure what EMFs were going through my body right now. And those 10 field clips are next. All right, so here we are under the very large electrical towers that carry current long distances. Very high voltage. I'm right here underneath about 18 various wires. These are the ones that in the past 20 years have received the most um, negative press about having a lot of current. And here we are. And we have these readings held. All right, so here I am by some wooden poles that typically travel through subdivisions and close to homes and here I'm getting a reading off of that let's see if we can see this number here and here we have a 90 foot cell phone electrical tower with most of the gear on the top there's a little bit here on the ground also but I think that's been disconnected and here are the readings on that So next is an electric meter on the side of the house. In the 80s and 90s, we had analog meters. This particular one is one of the new smart meters, which will put out more EMI. The thing that makes this pertinent is right on the other side of this wall is the bedroom where someone's bed would be and their head would be right on the other side of this wall. So I think it's worthy of a measurement. We come up here, don't want to get too close, but we want to take a reading push the hold button and then come in here to the shade where we can read it and there are the numbers okay so now I want to check the EMI that's coming out of a traditional cell phone so here it is let's make a call and then I'm going to put the meter right on top of it as if it is next to our ear which is where it belongs and let's start the readings. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm curious to check out the microwave oven. Okay. Okay, and let's put this up over here. And we overload that very quickly. I will save these numbers and then log them onto the page. Okay, let's check out this router that's downstairs. I've got a movie going, there's some gaming going on upstairs and I'm just curious what this thing is going to look like. Okay, we'll probably get some pretty high. There's an overload level already and snapshot. And now here I am at the laptop computer, okay? Because we sit these right on top of our legs and by our stomachs and everything like that. So I'm gonna put this down on the computer and we're gonna get 
we're going to get a website going here. All right, and let's just see what this dog is saying here. Pretty humble so far, and I'm going to hold it. Okay, so now in front of the TV, and I've got all the electronics on underneath the TV, I tried six locations, and this tended to be the one that gave the highest readings. Okay, and I am going to hold it here. All right, so here I am in the car. I was curious off of the car's dashboard. There are a lot of electronics in a car, just how much EMI we might get off of it. I moved it around. It seems like the maximum is kind of right here in the middle. It's right behind the all, all of these electronics. I've got the music on, but it's down, and I've got the navigation on, and it looks... Looks just, just okay. Here, I'm going to freeze this. Now, here are the results. In the interest of time, let's just talk about the top five. The fifth most powerful source of radiation is cell phones right by my brain. The fourth most radioactive source is the electric meter that's on the side of my house, which is right through the wall by my bed. The third most radioactive source is those large metal transmission towers with the wires on them. The second most radioactive source were the routers and Wi-Fi signals inside of my house and my workspace. Hopefully those are in your basement and not right next to your bed. And the most radioactive source across the three spectrums is microwave ovens so please keep those away from you while they are on the electric meter that i used was a 10 mars tm 190 multi-field emf sensor for magnetic radiation i was measuring in milligauss for the electric fields i was measuring in volts per meter which is pretty standardized and for rf strength i was measuring in milliwatts per square meter which twice overloaded My goal with this video was to raise awareness of radioactivity, and I hope I did that. For those of you who found this useful, go ahead and irradiate <laughs> the subscribe button below. Thank you for your attention today, everybody. And remember, keep radiation away from both your body and your amazing brain. This is Mark Scheller saying peace out.